If you're interested in this video, please stick around. My name is Primrose, and uh, if you are a new subscriber, you are welcome. If you are a returning subscriber or if you are a returning viewer, please uh, consider subscribing. Guys, listen, you know the South African police were always trashing them, were always saying they're not doing their job, but yesterday they proved themselves. The police believe they've broken the CIT high syndicate after 18 suspects were killed in a shootout in Makado. The 18 suspected robbers were killed during a shootout with police at a house in Makado on Friday, I believe to have been members of a syndicate involved in a number of cash and transit hides in Limpopo, Mpumalanga and Gauteng. The National Police Commissioner General Fani Masamula revealed this during his visit to the crime scene in Limpopo on Friday afternoon. The National Police Commissioner said various uh, police units had for several days been observing a group of suspects who were allegedly planning a CAT heist before pouncing on a house, house rather, in Makado. There is a house where they were doing all the planning. Police members approached the house with a view to arrest them. Uh, they shot at the police and we retaliated. The shooting lasted 90 minutes and 18 of them were shot dead, Masamala said. Two women were among the 18 killed. The suspects are from Gauteng, Mpumalanga and Limpopo. One of the police officers was seriously injured and rushed to hospital. They brought a lot of firearms. There were also explosives that were ready to be used, Masamala said. Police also visited a second address in Tahoyandu, where four suspects were arrested, 10 vehicles including several high-powered uh, performance vehicles and seven automatic uh, rifles were seized. The plan was that whatever they have done, when they have taken cash, they'll go to the second uh, safe house in Toyando and they were to transport the money to other provinces. Unfortunately, they were going to use an ambulance to transport the money. Masamala said an ambulance with red lights was usually given a right of way. We believe the syndicate has given a, has been rather involved in a number of CITs in the uh, province, Mpumalanga and Gauteng. Head of the Hawks, Lieutenant General uh, Godfrey Libya said this was a culmination of a major investigation that began as early as January. A Limpopo and Pumalanga joined forces in addressing the syndicate that was identified uh, based on several uh, follow-ups that were made by the team. So indeed, we do not... Uh, believe we have the suspects that we've been following further investigations will continue to ascertain uh, other crimes that the group may have perpetrated libya said honestly speaking this time around the subs deserve like a medal like a huge one because guys getting rid of such such a huge number is great work and especially uh, looking at the fact that no police say uh, was actually killed and the operation only one was injured. I really applaud them honestly. We better give them a bell, guys, because most of the time we are always like not happy with uh, the service that they deliver. It shows the guys really work, honestly. They really do work. Yeah, because as I was checking out the story, I saw quite a number of uh, uh, testimonials where people were actually giving positive feedback about the steps. There are so many people who are also saying that these guys were foreigners and uh, their nationality was not told. Uh, however, people from Makado claim they were foreigners who lived in one of the Zimbabwean property for a long time. Uh, that Zimbabwean is said to be rich, probably from CIT crimes. He recruited those thugs. Neighbors started to be concerned and raised an alarm. And one of the 18 people that actually got killed in Makado owns a suit company. Now look at that excuse after the mission went wrong. Why didn't they report the kidnapping and what was the reason for kidnapping? They, someone actually posted a picture of one guy and said, rest in peace to our director and founder of a Lamami, a suit property limited. He was kidnapped at Oyandu and taken to Makado, then get shot by Seps without even asking him why he was at the house. You were at the wrong place at the wrong time. If at all this is true, it's so sad and uh, yeah, honestly, may their souls rest in peace. And I believe uh, we'll start getting a proper story like uh, maybe, maybe by Monday, I believe the police would have really gathered all the proper information regarding all the people that were in the house and I'll definitely update you. 
and hey guys this guy so very smart like seriously uh, did you hear how they were using the ambulance to actually carry out their evil operations and i was like yo who would have ever thought of that honestly speaking it was you know it wasn't at all anywhere near my my head but hey yo uh people really do things like seriously please let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section and please say don't forget to like share and consider subscribing investigation obviously comes a long way as far as you can say uh, january but uh, the tracking was uh, for more than three days uh, where they have been tracked they brought a lot of firearms uh, amongst them there there is uh, is uh, 16 uh, men, two women, a lot of firearms. But uh, as the crime scene experts combed the scene, we'll be able to know exactly how many firearms are.